In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get your artwork ready to be turned into a holographic sticker. So what we'll be going through is adding your cut line, um, getting any white layers ready needed, um, and what files um, is best to export it as. Um, what we won't be going through is how to actually create the artwork in the first place and the technical differences between bitmaps and vectors. So let's get started. Right, first we'll open the design. So this is our design we're going to be working with today. Um, pretty clean, simple design. Um, what I'm going to show you now is what the final design should look like once printed. So as you can see, these background areas here, including the moon and the, the orange highlights, will have the holographic coming through. Um, whereas the I'll group this the white text white shuttle and the black background border here will be will not have the holographic showing through so um, we can also see the cut line the cut of the sticker wants to be following the edge of this black here so first of all let's add a cut line to this so because we want the cut to be on the very edge of the sticker, the colour, going right to the edge. What we want to do is we want to add a bleed. Uh, and to do this, we want to, the easiest way in Coral is to open the, the contour tab and add a two millimeter bleed. Apply, break it apart and change the properties to that of the background colour. So as we can see, we've now created the bleed um, and we create the old outline, it could now be, um, turned into the cut line, um, I, yeah, about one point like that, so it's nice and thick and easy to see. So let's move this cut line up to the top layer, lock that so we don't accidentally, so we're not playing, right, okay. So now what we want to do is we want to add a white layer into this. So everywhere we have, we want white, um, we don't want the holographic to show through, we're going to add a white mask white layer so um, we need to do all this border including the text the easiest way to do that would be to copy these two shapes uh, into the white layer and then what we can do is we can cut the top one away from the back one uh, using this trim or we can just use the combine tool um, in coral and we can turn that into spot color white or just a white colour and that's fine. What we can do then is we can turn it right click and go overprint fill. And so if we go view and simulate overprints we can see the white. You know this is it's, you know it's not going to print white on top of it it's going to be below it but we're just designing it with it on top for now. So we also want white behind the shuttle. So we want behind the white area and the black. So this black area actually as a whole thing so we can just as copy that again into the white layer and we can actually combine it into, into one weld it into one shape and as you can see here it's white with over 100% white with overprint fill another way of checking is just here and then again we can just go view simulate overprint so turn that off again and see the white so that in effect is our artwork ready now this is a simple design um, but if you, we can do, you know, it will, same principles apply for more complex designs. Uh, and this is quite easy because, let's just hide that, because it was all vector. But you can, you, all, you the, the artwork, the physical artwork itself doesn't have to be um, vector, it's sort of bitmap works fine. We will need a, a vector format because we need the, the cut line and the white mask need to be vector for 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 our machines to pick up um, so but I mean it all works exactly the same way you just had to freehand draw your white mask using you can your drawing tools and creating that so now we've got that ready let's we'll save that and we can just export that file export now um, EPS is great, um, equally a PDF, 
um, is also fine. Both of these files will keep um, bitmaps and vectors as they are. Um, EPSs we find work really well and that's what we tend to use but uh, like I said a PDF is equally fine for this. Um, <clears throat> we tend not to use CDR or AI files because it don't always work between various versions. For instance, we're using CorelDRAW X8, but if you sent a Coral, a newer Coral Draw than we have, then we couldn't open it. And likewise, um, AI files coming into Coral can sometimes mix up a little bit. Um, so EPS or PDF are the best. Um, just want to be careful with any text in that you make sure that um, to either your text is converted to curves in your actual design or as you're exporting it you make sure that um, uh, your text text here export text as export as kept as curves there um, don't click make sure your convert spot colors is not selected because you, you want to keep the spot colors if you have them uh, our machines will pick up pantones and we match them as close as we possibly can um, postscript level 3 it's the best and just click OK and that's done ready to ready to send off to us.